everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare. Welcome to my channel. Hope everyone's doing good out there. I know we just had some snow last night, which is kind of putting a crimp on my uh, my fusion creation. So I'm back on making coasters. And this is actually going to hopefully go with the fusion that I have in process right now. I'm using the same color combination. So getting right down to it here. I've got right. my Multi-Pro right here, which is in my decanted container. And then I have my colors here, which my first color up is a combination and I will call everything out as I go through. That's my consistency. I always look for about a two to three second trace. I just got them off the heater. And so, yeah, let me just get going here. No time like the present. So this is my pillow. This is a brand new Noosa cup I've got down here. So if you're new here, what I do, I'll show you. I really have problems with um, flying coasters and I'm not gonna move this because it's centered already. I put these Noosa cups down, upside down. And then as the paint starts to fall off, it starts to stick in the center, which is where I want it to stay. Hopefully I've got this exactly centered. I have a video on it. I will link it above. So just look, it just shows you how I place it and how it helps. Okay, so with that, let's get the colors down. This is Arteza's Blue Green with Treasure Gold, Gold's Blue Quartz. And I also have some golden cerulean blue deep. And this is just intended to be very water-like creation. This here is Deco Art's Sky Blue Topaz with Arteza's Pearl. Oops, there's something in there. With Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue. Here I've got Color Arts Wildberry with a little bit of Amsterdam's uh, Pearl, uh, with Amsterdam Sapphire Blue. So I got equal representation, I think, here today of TLP and Color Art. And if you haven't seen me enough with blending colors together, I blend co colors, I blend brands. However, this is not a blend. This is TLP Sea Glass. And this was, I think, one of my very first TLPs I used. And it is, if you don't have it in your arsenal and you're looking for a TLP, I highly recommend this one. It's gorgeous. My gold, my gold combination, which is Iridescent Gold by Golden and 24 Karat Gold by Deco art. And then last but not least is Bl Color Arts Bling It. And this is Abalone Shell. I mean, this is just, it's like, it's like seeing uh, snowfall, fresh snowfall in the sun. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on that. Oh my, it's gorgeous. All right, my cell activator. I'm only using my white and I'm using my Australian. And I'm almost to the end of this. So I'll be going back to my, my concoction pretty soon. Which is my American Floatrol cell activator. Video 141. Stuff works very good, but it just seems to be a little more temperamental in the colder weather. And let me, I tend to want to run in that direction. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So 
So especially for the newer people, as I do the blowout, I like to talk about it. And I usually like to blow straight down into the cell activator to get it to blow out in as much a circle as possible. And then where that ridge starts to form, where the cell activator pushes out, I blow at the ridge, which blows the cell activator out over the paint and the paint out over the pillow, like a wave coming into the beach. And this is just one way I feel most comfortable doing this, but you find your own way to make it work. Oh, I moved it. Trouble is when you first put your Nusit cup down and you don't have anything under it, you tend to move things. I'll have to get some paint down there and secure it with some paint. So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here. All I'm doing is pulling the pillow to the edges and covering the sides. I'm ready for some warmer weather. I'm ready for some bears. So I live in the mountains of Asheville, North Carolina, and I have a lot of bear activity here. So if you haven't seen my bear playlist, check it out. I have inset here a sample of some of my bear activity. So because this is a fresh platform I've got the coaster on, I'm doing the spin with a little more deliberation and care until it really secures itself. And just so you know also, this particular coaster set I almost scraped off or poured over because I didn't like the way it turned out because technically I should not be using a mica potter last in my color sequence, but in the end I liked the way it turned out so I let them live and in the end I'm very happy that I did. my tub my tub of scraps I've got all kinds of paints all over the place I am a mess I got pearls going on I got fusions happening so those that have been with me a while know that I always cut out all the cleanup portion and I'm gonna do the same here it's always fun the first couple pours on a brand new Nusa cup but I was doing black coasters yesterday and everything is black and it just, it doesn't look good. And I just felt like I needed a clean start. A little more speed. Maybe a little less cell activator next time. I'm realizing here I should not have used the mica powder down last how it's interacting with the cell activator, which is much softer, not giving me the crisp looking cells that I like to see. And I think one more. Hmm. And one more, I wanna get that little bit off. Hmm, the better's not coming back. Hmm, maybe I need a new batch. All right, I think I'm going to call it done. There's the first one. So everyone, that's a wrap. I really had to think long and hard about whether I wanted to continue on with this palette or not, and I'm glad I did in the end, even though it's not in convention as far as the bloom technique. I mean, I should know better based on what I've learned about order and sequence, but I guess I saw for myself how this works. And as I've said before, always live and learn, observe and see what's going on and see what works. Here are the final resin results. And yeah, I am happy that I kept these guys. So at the end, I'm gonna have linked my Bloom Coaster playlist if you wanna see other color combinations and other results. And if you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And I think I'm gonna sign off for now. Until next time, everybody, take care.